We seek what we believe, even when it's not true. It's really incredible how we do this. You know in your head that it is truly possible for you to make the money that you want in your business, for you to live where you want, for you to have the abundance that you want in your life. Intellectually, you know it. But then there's this other part of your mind that battles you that is like, nah, no, not you, not for you. It's for them and not for you. They have this and you don't. And that inner bully in your mind, when that person is driving the car, you're going to end up off a cliff somewhere. And you might be off that cliff right now. We need to take that inner bully from behind the driver's seat, tie that bitch up or that dude up and put them in the damn trunk. They're not going to go anywhere. They're always going to be here with you. There is a place and a time where that inner bully has served you in some way and there's a payoff for that voice in your head, but it's no longer serving you anymore and it's time to put them back in their place and for you to take control of the wheel and you to take ownership of your life and you to step in to that six-figure version of you, that next-level version of you. This is six-figure manifestation, and you are going to be blown away with how much money you're going to make by really sinking in and listening and absorbing this episode. If you're tired of hearing the same old basic mindset and motivational fluff talk, you've come to the right show. Welcome to Project Me with Tiffany Carter, the podcast where we dish on everything from managing that crazy brain of yours to manifesting abundance to my straightforward, actionable steps that will make you major money online. Now, I'm not your typical multimillionaire entrepreneur. It takes a small village to keep my anxiety and depression in check. I'm inherently disorganized with an intense obsession with office supplies. Your girl here is a digital marketing content expert who's generated over $200 million in sales. I promise by tuning in twice a week, you will get a much needed refreshing dose of truth, clarity, and cash making advice. Now let's get to it. What up, my people, my posse, my fellow crazies? It's your host, Tiffany Carter who is just coming out of a full next level uh, trauma mental breakdown and breakthrough that had to happen. Aren't those fun? Just fun fact, there is no way to get to the other side of healing without going through the pain. But when we're in it, man, when we're in that dirty diaper of growth, whether it's personal, whether it's professional, whether it's financial, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical, It is ugly. And if I didn't have the support and cultivate the support I have in my life, I I wouldn't even be here recording this episode. You know, life, life is no joke. Business is no joke. And if you really want to have what you want in life, you've got to do things based on intention not on wishful thinking, not on hopeful thinking, not on, oh, why not me? I really want to have this. All all that stuff ends up getting you in the same spot, which is stuck island. And I don't want you there anymore. And you don't need to be in there anymore. And we all end up there at some point. But when you have incredible mentors and you have people in your life, people you pay for and people who are there for free, which both are required for your ultimate success and well-being, you don't stay in that spot for very long. Business and success do not happen by luck or by chance. They happen by intention and not just setting mental and clear intentions in that way. It's by taking intentional and strategic action that is going to get you the results that you're after. Before we get in to this incredible exercise that I've never shared before, it came up 
when I was coaching one of my longtime clients the other day who was tripping out because the sales are way down in her business. The money's not coming in. She started down a whole path of, oh my God, it's summer, you know, June and July are slow. Everyone's traveling. No one's buying the economy. Maybe no one's wanting my stuff anymore. People are buying from these other people and not me. Like maybe I started talking about this other subject matter too soon. And I thought people wanted to buy this and they don't. And I'm wrong. What did I do? And how I got her out of that scarcity spiral and back into six figure manifesting. This exercise will blow your mind. But before that, you're listening to this. And if you're diehard, you're listening to this on a Wednesday. And today at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern is my free live specialized training. So you need to pause this podcast and go register. You can still get in. We have 500 free tickets. So there should be space left for you. And if not, we'll still send you the replay that'll be available for 48 hours as long as you register. But you want to show up live. I only do a couple of these this year, and it's four unique ways to bring fresh cash into your business this summer, like now, like period, end of story. We be stacking that summer cash so that in August, in September, You can take a European trip if you want, or you can take two weeks and go to the lake, or maybe you want to buy a jet ski, or maybe you want to have some special plan to rent a log cabin in the snow for the summer or the summer, the winter season. Whatever it may be that you want to do, you've got to intentionally take action now to set yourself up so that 2023 ends up being the year that you completely changed your life and your lifestyle. It's This is not lost. You still have time to do this, but only if you show up. So go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash summer cash. The link is in my bio on TikTok, Instagram. And if you swipe up, it is in the show notes. Plus, you guys are going to freak out. This is part two of my work less and make more series. It's a four-part series. I am doing a surprise bonus for you. You leave a written review of this podcast on Apple. Leave your name in the review or your Instagram or TikTok handle. Email us or you can DM me a screenshot of the review so we can see that you did it. And I will give you my brand new, never released, work less while making more printable workbook for free. This will soon be available for sale. But if you want it for free, You got to leave a review. Plus, if you really appreciate what you're learning in this show and you want to be of service and be of abundance, that would mean the world to me and for everyone on the team and all the work that we do to put on the show and to deliver the goods to you. So go do that. If you're listening to this and it's like even months down the line or even a year down the line, you're listening to this episode you can still email or DM me a screenshot reference that this is your your part of the work less and make more four part series. And I'll still honor this to you and send you this free printable workbook of mine. But I want you to do that now. Don't wait and tell yourself that lie because you won't do it. So even if you need to press pause on this episode and go and do it, This is not some basic dumb workbook. I don't put out anything that's basic. Basic equals broke. We're not available for that. This is going to absolutely enhance your manifesting. This is going to help you stay accountable. Plus, all my stuff is designed to be fun. My free, I mean, just wait. You're at my free live training. There's costumes, there's props, there's sometimes drinking, there's shenanigans. If we're not having fun, then what's the point? Then you might as well stay at your jobby job or you might as well go take a jobby job and live out someone else's dream or continue to really not be living your best life. This is all available for you, but not if you continue to just wish and hope for it and don't take strategic action that is aligned to it. So go to these things. You will not regret carving out your time for this free life training. Okay, let's get into my exercise for today. I'm going to close my eyes when I do this. I really find that this 
helps me channel what is supposed to be coming from the universe, from God, and it's speaking through me to you and exactly what you need to hear today at this very given moment. And if this resonates with you, like I said, leave a written review, share this episode with someone, pass this abundance along, because what we pass along, what we give out, we receive as long as we're giving for fun and for free. We're giving out of love. We're getting out of a space of not looking for what we can get. And that would be one of my first things you need to hear. Whatever kind of business you have, wherever you're at in your business, we need to be giving from a place of true service, not looking for an angle. If I do this free live training, well, pe- people are going to buy from me. If I do this, what will I get? Why don't we do it out of a space of this? I want you to imagine, and even if you're like, girl, this is not possible in my life, well, okay, we'll go with me on this, okay, for this exercise. You're in resistance, and that's understandable, but if you want to do six-figure manifesting, go with me on this exercise, because this worked on this client of mine, and this client of mine has made millions of dollars before, but we all can end up in a ditch, right, when we have that inner bully. Mine is named Susie. Susie's a hardcore biatch. When that inner bully, that which is where scarcity thinking is rooted from, which which fear is rooted from, that's what brings that inner bully to the forefront and is driving our car. And we had to put her back in the trunk. So this is going to help you do that. And if you're able to even close your eyes while listening to this portion, that'd be great. If you can't, it's still going to be as effective. You have received totally shockingly an abundance of cash. I'm talking an abundance to where it has made it to where you have limitless choices in front of you. It's an inheritance. It's an unexpected windfall. It could be even a lotto, something like that. Doesn't matter where it came from. It's a life-changing amount of cash where you now have so many options. And that's different for so many people. So what is that dollar amount for you? Because for me, that dollar amount, I would say for me right now, of course, a mil- I'll take a mil. I mean, I'll take 10,000. But a life changing amount that truly gives me that expansive feeling of, wow, I could take so many risks and do so many things and experiment with so much stuff and just try it out and not feel guilty about it, not feel worried about it, not feel like I was wasting it. I would say minimum amount for me, probably like 3 million. Okay. And this again, it's all relative for you. It might be 50,000. It might be 500,000. It might be 10 million, whatever that number is, bring that number up. Try not to judge it. That's the amount that you've received. You have this right now, full access to it. This is after taxes. You don't have to sell stock to get it. It is available right now. And no one in your life even knows you have it. You're still shocked you have it. You keep checking your bank account. You're seeing it there. You've gotten the statements. It's real. You know you have it. It's sunk in. And all these things that you've told yourself that you've wanted to do, you wanted to write the book, you wanted to start the podcast, you wanted to build homes for women who are escaping abuse. You are wanting to start a school somewhere. You're wanting to have retreats all over the world for people to heal. You're wanting to create a product line, a fashion line, whatever it is, all of those options are available to you right now. You have the funds to do all the things. What would you do with that money? What would you do in order for you to take intentional action using that money in order to help propel and ignite and magnify that manifestation that you want to bring to life? Manifesting is a co-creation process. You need to be equally involved as the universe. The universe is going to match your energy. If you're half-assing it and you're taking half-ass risk and you're playing it safe, the universe is going to meet you at that energy. But you're taking full-ass action, full juicy, plump-ass action. The universe is going to meet you at that energy. 
But in the past, you've been scared to do it. You've been scared. What if I lose it all? What if it doesn't work? What if I go into more debt? What if I'm what if I'm not going to get any ROI on this? And then what am I going to do? Then I'm going to have to take another job. Then then my dream isn't possible. Well, that's all been taken away. You have it here right now. What are you going to do? Who would you hire to help you? What actions would you take? What would you do? And I want you to think about those. I would ideally want you to jot them down. Because what has been happening is you've been in resistance from taking the actions, the abundant actions that need to be taken in order for you to have your six figure manifestations, whether it's six figures a year, whether it's multiple six figures a year, whether it's six figure launches, six figure days, six figure weeks, six figure months. Everything I have in my life from having this baller beach house where I'm listening to the waves crash as I'm talking to you right now in one of the most prestigious beaches in truly all of the world. Why well, I have another house that's, I call it my quiet house where you hear the birds chirp and I luxuriate in the pool in the backyard and it's more of a suburb vibe. Vibe. Why well, I can get on a flight at any time, first class, five star, anywhere in the world, anytime I want. And I started at making $17,000 a year. I started at working on Thanksgiving, working on Christmas, 12 hours a day, six to seven days a week, getting majorly sick every five weeks because I was burning the candle at both ends, to now running two businesses with not working any more than 30 hours a week and not starting my day until noon every single day. But this didn't just happen because I thought about it. This didn't just happen because I called it in or I put it on a vision board as much as all those things are beautiful. This has happened for me and my countless clients and friends of mine because of taking action out of an abundant space. The only reason you've not taken those actions to get to where you want to go in your life and your business and meet those goals and create that lifestyle changing cash that you want is because you are staying in fear. You're having that inner bully who is driving that car saying, oh my God, what if this doesn't work? And I don't know if we can make this happen. And then what happens if it does happen? And da, 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 and all this stuff. You're safe. You're safe no matter what. You're safe and supported and secure no matter what. What actions would you take knowing that? What actions would you take knowing that your success is inevitable? As long as you show up regardless for it, this doesn't mean irregardless of your health and your happiness and your well-being and your family. This means showing up on your good days, on your bad days, on your in-between days because you want to show up, because you want it this badly, because you're passionate about it, because you love it, because it's fun, because it's enjoyable, because it's clear, it's because it's what you're supposed to be doing here. Those actions that have come up where you would be spending money strategically and energetically aligned in order to call in that money, in order to ignite your manifestations, that's your next move. Is it to apply for my mastermind or apply to work with me privately? Is it to come into my posse membership? Is it to hire someone to build out your Shopify store? Is it hiring a graphic designer? Is it all the above all at once? And if you're worried like, well, Tiffany, this is just an exercise. You're giving me an exercise here. This is not reality. It is reality. When you act out of the reality that you want to create, your mind doesn't know any different. Then it becomes your reality. This is called faith. When you're operating out of fear, you're going to just get more fear. You're going to get more evidence of fear. You're going to get confirmation bias everywhere that it's not possible. But when you operate out of where you want to be, out of true faith, out of true abundance, that this is happening no matter what, I know it's happening simply for being me on any given day and I'm more than enough and this is my success is inevitable. This is happening for me and all of this is here for me and I'm listening to this exact podcast series at this exact time from this exact per person. For a greater divine reason, I'm hearing this message today as a reminder, as clear guidance, as my sign. 
that this is the next indicated step. This is my abundant indicated step for me to have the life that I want. And I'm going to choose to take action on it today, even if it feels vulnerable, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's scary. And then I am going to step into faith. Step into faith because that is where this all happens. Without you absolutely knowing that this is possible in faith, that you're secure and safe and supported no matter what, you're not going to be able to call in what you want. In fact, this is what's blocking you from having what you want. And it is all here for you. It's equally as available for me as it is for you, as it is for the next person. Doesn't matter where you live in the world, where you came from, what color your skin is, what your background is, if you were abused, if you had a terrible childhood, if you had an amazing childhood, if you're book smart, if you have a learning disability, if you have ADHD, if you are a super hyper focused person, if you're type A or you're type C like me, type chill, it's available for you. It's available for you. It's available for you. Keep saying that to yourself. It's available for me. It's available for me. And I'm going to take aligned action out of an abundant space. That is who's driving my car. That is who's driving my Bentley. It's that inner critic. It's that inner bully that's driving that beat up car that's now over the side of a road in a ditch. You know what? Maybe you need to ditch the whole car and not even and not even put him or her in the trunk. And get a new car for yourself. And you're at the wheel and you're in charge. And you know what your directions are? It's faith. It's faith, faith that your success is inevitable. You know what your next moves are. Let me know if you love this episode. Wishing you great health, wealth, and worth as always. Love you. If you enjoyed this podcast, please write a five-star review on iTunes. Not only will this make me super happy, but it will allow more listeners to find our special show. Simply help me help others.